Hi, I'm Paul. So this is Bilingo Micro Camper. I've not done any work on it for a while, but this week I've been building a kitchen unit. So this video is going to be the kitchen unit. Well, it's like a kitchen unit storage, really. Um, a unit and it's been fitted. Right before I start, I just want to say these videos have been clips that I've uploaded to my Facebook page and this is a full video of all the clips that have been on Facebook so if you've not looked at my page on Facebook have a look check it out I upload to that segments and then we make the full YouTube video also at the end of this video there's two playlists the Bilingo ones one's 2017 and one's this year 2018 got my little friend with me if you can see him right okay enjoy the video right I'm gonna take the kitchen unit out of the frame this also measuring up the gap under the bed for storage, might make a box. Also, this here needs fixing in with a bracket. So that's what I'm gonna do today. It's the kitchen unit out. Okay, so I've just built this frame. It's a new kitchen unit. The black one that I took out, I'm not going to use it anymore. So let's go and see if it fits. Okay, so I'm building a drawer for the kitchen unit. Measured the front and back out here. Gonna do the two sides, add a base and screw it together. Right, total chaos, but that's a draw belt. It's a bit wonky to go back in, but it'll do. Done it high enough to all like tins of food, tins of beans, etc. Okay, that's it for today. Do more tomorrow. So I've put this piece of wood in here. So when I've got the work top on, put it on hinges. And it'll lift up like that. Okay, so here's the kitchen unit today. Bottom drawer full of stuff. A tub that slots in first and this one goes on top of it and then that one there's a gap there just there to put a piece of wood here to hold them both up so I can get the drawer out and I've removed this piece that was going across here because they won't fit just today's progress if you're wondering what this bars for I'll show you tomorrow when I fit it Good morning, so last night I painted the kitchen unit black, I used acrylic paint watered down because I've got no other black paint. I'm going to do some more work on it now. Okay, so I've put a beam here, same on the other side, to hold the board that goes across. It'll hold the two tubs on top of it, and that means I'll be able to pull the drawer out. Okay, so the unit's upside down. I've just fitted this. I've put screws in the edges there, and pins along there. It's a piece of hard board. I'll just spin it round and show you now. So I've replaced this board, like I've just shown you. It was a thicker piece of wood. Don't need it that thick. It's pinned on. It's firm enough. It's only going to hold knives and plates and stuff. 
and a piece of worktop is going to go on the top on hinges like I've already said that's one coat of black paint but I've used acrylic I've got no black paint but acrylic should do alright don't give off any VLCs I've got asthma so it's all good okay I've just fitted this board here three screws along each edge so that's to hold the first tub the second tub will slide in then and the drawer underneath so let's check it how it fits okay a few slight adjustments and the drawer now fits let's try the plastic containers okay so I've got a problem one tub will fit with a lid on this other tub here won't fit and it's got no lid on it's all this drawer here so I'm going to have to have a rethink must have got my measurements wrong it's, at, it's 25 degrees in here I'm boiling jobs are good and what I did was adjusted this got it exactly right so there's a couple of millimetres between that there and the drawer it looks bigger there but if you can see that board has two pieces so um, drawer fits two tubs fit now to give it a lick of paint okay gonna give this a second coat this another coat might need two coats that it's untreated it'll be porous let's get it painted keep meaning to say all this is made from recycled wood so it's an upcycled unit got this wood found it found that board got this from my dad this is a towel rail that I've had for about 15 years never put it up yeah the paint's still wet give it two coats the whole lot of it I say paint it but really it's water based acrylic wood stain right I'm going to go out and let it dry now I'm actually going to fit it in my car tomorrow I want to make a worktop in the morning and then fit it in my car in the morning so it's nearly all done it took a bit of effort but well worth it hi it's 7 a.m. in the morning so last night I drew this you might have seen my picture as my display picture on my page my Facebook page up this did it in pink marker don't know how well the camera picks it up but it looks white on the display here but it is pink just a shame really I'm going to have a worktop going over it so I might do this design this drawing in some other places where you can see it in the car right got a busy day today it's the last day working on my car I'm busy all the other days and weekend so I'm going to blitz it so I'm going to really go for it today I want to wash the car too this board here is the original base that was on the old kitchen unit it had foil on the back but I had to remove the foil to get the old kitchen unit off it I'm going to put the foil back on now and foil, I mean insulation foil that goes behind radiators that's the foil on okay let's get it fitted got this bracket here don't know if it's any good that bracket there and this back bracket here and this bracket here right I'm going to fit a beam that goes across it and the towel rail that are fixed on the kitchen unit the board's going to sit on them both and go across here just to extend the bottom half of the bed
Right, just fit two brackets there and there. It's all this in. It's not dead firm, won't take a load of weight. It'll be stronger when the door's shut. Got it fitted in. I've had to use this. I've made a, a piece of metal with holes in it and I've bent it myself to make a bracket. But that's the only part I can find to fix it in. So I'm going to get my dad down, give me an hand. Two brains are better than one. Two heads are better than one. First of all, I'm going to take this gap up. Right, so my dad's got me a bit of work top, so we're going to cut it now. Fit the tape down the two boards. It's a piece of work top cut to size. We're just going to fix it in now. We've decided to make brackets and fit it like this. We're just doing the next one now. The other side's already got one on. But I'm gutted. I took them pictures of me drawing and now you can't see it. I did want to put it on inches, but I'll see about that. Okay, this bracket here had a piece stuck out there and it was a jagged edge. So we've cut it off with the XR and I've filed the burrs off it too. Okay, the foam floor's fitted. Don't go all the way under there. Don't need to really. But I've joined all the pieces so it's like one piece. Let's have a look here. So now I've got to cut a piece of wood that goes across here. I've already got a piece with foam on and this fabric, the Velboa fabric, so I just need to shorten it and I want it to run my full length really. Right, we've just fitted this metal trim along here. Here's the board that I've already got that I mentioned before. That's got my foam and my Velboa on. Doing. <laughs> so this needs the velboa taking off, the foam taking off, cutting to size, foam back on, velboa back on. Here's the board with the foam and the velboa took off. So there's the measurements. Marked it out, measured it twice. Sat here, figured it out, made sure it's right because I've only got this board, I've not got any other pieces of wood this big, and it'd mean buying wood, and I don't want to do that because it's all upcycled. Okay, let's cut. As they say, measure twice, cut once. That's it cut. It's the shape of it. It fits. Now to put the memory foam on and the Velboa. Just installed this and this support. It fits anyway, so I've cut it right. I'm going to stick the foam on, Velboa, put it in my car and call it a day. That's it, covered. Fits.
Right, thanks for watching. You've been watching me, Paul, and it's Bolingo Micro Camper. So up next is two playlists like I mentioned at the beginning of the video and also check out my page on Facebook that's Bolingo Micro Camper and if you're new to my content on YouTube and you're not already subscribed to me consider subscribing I really appreciate it right okay thanks for watching bye